this episode, we're going to share three Google Classroom tips. The first one takes us to the About tab. And in the About tab, we are going to create a links list that will always be updated. And to do that, we're going to use Google Docs. So when you come down to your About section, the About section in Classroom is there for more long-term resources, things you want to use throughout the entire year. Well, a list of websites that you want students to access is a good thing to put there. So we're going to do this using a Google Doc. So I have created this class links document, and it's something that I can just update as I find new websites. But the nice thing about Google Classroom is I can add that to my About page, and whenever I make an update to that doc, the update will show up here as well. So to do that, I'm going to click on Add Materials. I'm going to go ahead and give this a name. I'm just going to call this Links. And then I'm going to attach that Google Doc that I talked about before. So it's going to come up here. I like to use the search bar. So I'm just going to type in class. I find my class links. And then I'm going to go ahead and post this. So now this document is there for my students and they can have access to it. Now when I want to go ahead and make updates to it, I'm going to go ahead and go to my doc. And let's say I find this Picks for Learning website, a good website for pictures. I'm going to go ahead and copy the URL. I'm going to go into my Google Doc, and I'm just going to paste it and hit my space bar. And now that's added to my resource list. It auto saves, just like everything in Google Docs. And so I'm going to go ahead and close this out now. So when I go back to Classroom, and now I click on this Class Links link, it's going to take me to that Google Doc, and you'll notice the new link is already there. So it's, this is a great way to constantly add resources, change them. Your students will always have the most up-to-date information, and you only have to put it on your About page one time. Everything else will update. Let's go on to tip number two. The Google Classroom Stream is a great way for students to gain access to a Google Form. Normally, we don't share the form. We always share what's called the live link. So when you're looking at the form in the live view, you're going to go ahead and you're going to copy that URL. And then when you go into Classroom to share this with students, it's not going to be an assignment. You actually want to do it as an announcement. And so I'm just going to put form link as my title. I'm going to choose the attach link. I'm going to paste that link in here. And then I can assign this to more than one class if I want to. I'll then click add. And then I'm going to click post. And now my students have easy access to get to the link of the form. Because if you're using this for an assessment or something like that, you're going to want students to be able to click on this, take the assessment, and submit it right there. The common mistake people make is they will put this link as an assignment. And with a Google Form, when they hit Submit, everything just goes to a spreadsheet. There's nothing for them to turn in in Google Classroom. So that is tip number two, using the announcement feature to give out links to a form. Let's move on to tip three. In Google Classroom, one of the things that can be difficult is doing a group project because currently right now there is not a way to assign files or assignments to multiple students in a group. So I've come, around, come up with a little workaround that you can use for these types of assignments. So when you go into Google Classroom, you're going to click on assignment. I'm just going to call this group assignment here. I'm going to choose the due date. And I've already made a template that I want the students to work from. So I'm just going to type in the word sample. Everybody's going to work from this right here. And I'm going to go ahead and say make a copy for each student. So when I go ahead and do that, I'm going to go ahead and assign this out. So now every student has a copy, but this is where um, you have to use a little bit of classroom management, how to organize this. What I would do is I would assign one student to be the group leader that one student will be the only one who goes and opens up this file. They'll also be the only one who turns it in. So when the students open up their file, the first thing they need to do is go to the share button in the upper right, and they are going to enter the names of the people they want sh to share this with. So I'm going to go ahead and start typing in the, the names of my group members here. And so once I've put them in, I want to make sure they have edit rights. And we'll go ahead and click send. And so now, if I was doing this in, you know, for those other students in Google Drive, those students would go to their shared with me. They would find that file. They would click on it. They would click on add to my drive. 
So that just shows you kind of a, an organization way to kind of deal with group projects right now. If the new feature does come along that makes that easier, um, we'll definitely share that. But just remember the group leader is the only one who will open this file. They'll be the only one who will turn it in and then they just go about sharing. So those are three Google Classroom tips. I uh, hope that makes using Classroom easier for you and your students.